Hey guys, Dr. Jim Stepani here. In this video, I want to cover one of the questions that I get asked a lot regarding my post-gym fast digesting carb, which is basically dextrose. And the question is for those that are dieting, trying to lose body fat, maybe it's just to look good, maybe you just have a goal, maybe it's you're prepping for a photo shoot or a contest. But a lot of people ask, should I forego the post-gym dextrose when I'm actually dieting and trying to lose body fat? And the simple answer is no. Now, yes, I did separate the active ingredients in post-gym, the creatine, the carnitine, the glutamine, the branched-chain amino acids, the betaine, the beta-alanine um, from the dextrose. So that those who either did not want to consume uh, post-workout carbs, maybe you're at an extreme point in your diet, or for those who just don't want to drink their carbs. If you're on a low-carb diet, uh, consuming post-gym dextrose is not going to inhibit your fat loss at all. Um, however, if you're on a very low-carb diet, the only time you're consuming carbs might be post-workout, then you might not want to be drinking your carb source. It's just an option that I wanted to give for those who want to enjoy uh, their carbs. You can have gummy bears instead. It's another great source uh, of dextrose, a little more fun, but some people just like being able to simply add both the dextrose and the active ingredient in one shaker cup and you're done. But as far as dieting goes, you really don't want to skip your post-workout carbs. Now, I know, if we talk about the science on dextrose and muscle growth, when we look at protein synthesis, the research shows that as long as you have a solid protein source post-workout, like ProGym, protein synthesis will be maximized. Adding dextrose or any other fast carb, whether it's Vitargo or whatnot, won't enhance protein synthesis any more than the protein already did. However, however, post-workout nutrition is not all about protein synthesis. It's also about replenishing the carb source that you use, which is glycogen, which is actually stored in the muscles that you use. The best way to replenish those muscle glycogen stores quickly and most effectively is to get in a fast digesting carb source like dextrose as soon as possible after the workout is over. Not only does it replenish muscle glycogen, but it's also critical for getting the creatine and carnitine that you're getting from post-gym to get into the muscles. Absolutely critical for those nutrients to get into the muscles and be put to work to provide their benefits. Without an, a nice insulin spike, you're not gonna get the benefits from the carnitine or the creatine. So you really wanna make sure you're getting a fast digesting carb source. Like I said, post-gym dextrose makes a great, convenient, easy way, and, and let's not forget delicious. Taking them together, if you're using, whether it's fruit punch or watermelon you like, both the dextrose and the active are matched. The flavors are matched. You put them together, absolutely the uh, best tasting supplement you've ever had. I can, I can guarantee you that. So delicious and convenient. Make sure you definitely get your post-workout curves. It's not going to decrease fat loss. What you want to do is you want to cut your carbs out from other times of day. It's silly to forego post-workout carbs when you need them for recovery, but you're going to have carbs, say, with your breakfast or your lunch at a time when you don't need to aid recovery. So don't cut out your dextrose just because you think it's sugar and it's bad and it's going to decrease fat loss. No, it's the one time when you're, you're basically safe. You don't even have to worry about it inhibiting fat loss. This dextrose is going to be put right to work, go right to the muscles and be stored as glycogen. And it's going to help get the other nutrients from your post-gym into your muscle fibers. So don't shortchange your results by skipping your post-workout carbs and having them later on in the day. Make sure to do it post-workout. Now, if you're at a point in your diet 
where your carbs are so low that you're not even consuming post-workout dextrose or any other carb source and you're sticking with just post-gym and your pro-gym and you're saying, well, I got to cut out carbs now. It, it, am I going to lose the benefits from post-gym? No. The nice thing is, is that when you take post-gym, you're getting six grams of branched-chain amino acids. The leucine from the branched-chain amino acids, you're also getting branched-chain amino acids from your pro-gym. The amount of leucine from both your pro-gym and your post-gym is going to spike, give you a nice insulin spike by itself, which is going to help to drive those nutrients in there. Now, obviously, getting it with dextrose will really maximize the insulin spike. But for those periods where you, your diet is so uh, strict that you can't even have post-workout carbs, it's just that phase that you're in, getting your post-gym just with your pro-gym is going to give you enough of a benefit. So, like I said, for those who are dieting, Unless you're at that stage where you're cutting out carbs, make sure to include some post-workout carb source. It's the most critical time of day to get your carbs. Trust me, it's going to maximize your recovery, maximize your results. Don't listen to what other experts are claiming. You'll hear talk about, well, if you consume uh, carbs post-workout, it lowers growth hormone levels. Look. Anyone who's telling you that a post-workout carbs or even post-workout protein is lowering growth hormone levels after your workout doesn't know anything about exercise and the chronology, the study of how hormones react to exercise. It's one of the areas that I happen to study and I'm one of the few experts in this field that actually has that research background on actual growth hormone and testosterone and insulin growth factor research. After you work out, your growth hormone levels spike during the workout. And then after the workout, they drop anyway. So it doesn't matter if you consume protein or carbs, your growth hormone is already dropping when the workout's over. Consuming a carb source has no effect on your growth hormone levels, which are already dropping, okay? So let's get that straight. Don't fall for that expert uh, crap about growth hormone. It's absolutely uh, not true. It's completely uh, false, but this is what you get when you have experts who don't actually study uh, what's going on in the body and are just trying to make uh, generalizations on things that they think they know when they don't really know. So stick with your post-workout carbs until you get to that stage. If you're following my Dieting 101, you'll see each phase of the diet, you drop your carb source depending on how your diet is going and where, uh, how much further you have to go. You may get to a point, just based on the diet, where you're not even consuming carbs post-workout, at least for a short period. Like I said, that's when you can forego your post-workout carbs. But for most of us, trust me, stick with a post-workout carb source. It's absolutely critical for your recovery and it's going to be critical for your results. It's really going to maximize the results you're getting from maximal muscle growth, strength gains, even endurance. And the easiest way to get it, post-gym, fast-digesting carbs.